are the only one true God. You are the unique creator. You created the visible and the invisible. Lord, you support all things through your powerful hands. Be blessed. Be worshipped and be exalted. My soul blesses you. My soul worships you. My soul exalts you. My soul blesses the Lord. And, and for, forget none of his good deeds. The Lord is good. He is merciful. He is rich in goodness. He is the one who protects Israel in the no sleep, no slumber. Glory to your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 So I ask that we all, that we all rise, 
that we all know how the children of Israel suffered in Egypt. Well, that, that the song song. For, within 400 years, it was full of pressure. they were under oppression. But that, that the song song. Within 400 years, they were suffering. They were being they were suffering. The Bible told me that this so. And the Bible tells us that they began crying. And God heard their cry. The Lord heard their cry. And the Bible tells us it is not just that the Lord heard them, but He decided to come down. Beloved, when the Lord comes down, yeah, sure the there is always a solution. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there are things that happen to you and I. Sometimes the Lord is watching. And when it happens to you, when all those things are taking place, sometimes people may go. People may say whatever. But beloved, it is not the end. Joe said, I know that my Redeemer will rise last. Will rise last. So people can laugh. The enemy can laugh. He can say, I have won. I will make him suffer. And many years that we've seen Israel was under oppression. God said, He says, I know that suffering. I know this pain. I know this pain. And God came down. God came down. Amen. Amen. God came down. When God comes down, He comes to the solution. I want to speak to someone today that God has heard your cry. Maybe you will ask yourself, we fasted for a We fasted for 30 days. We prayed every day. And three days of conference, I was here. And how comes my life is not changing? Why do I continue to see this thing? But beloved, God has heard you. He has heard your cry. He has heard your cry. Maybe it was hot. It was sadness, it was questions, maybe you looked at your children and you said what is happening to my children's life, all the others are going well, all the others have a good life, the boys have finished school, the girls are getting married, they have work, but when I'm looking at my father, there is no change. The there is no change. That is the cry of a mother. It's the cry of a father. When others are asleep, and at night you are looking at the ceiling, you are asking questions. You are saying, when? When will I smile? When will I sleep? Sleep a good sleep and wake up and feel that I really slept. When? But because there is a day, there is always a day. There is always a day. The Bible says in Matthew, when we were friends, the Bible says six days later. Six days later. Why six days? The number six. It's a a, a figure of man. Amen. Amen. A figure of man. One is God's number. There is one only one God. Two is the number of witnesses. There are two witnesses. Three is the Trinity. Four is the uh, four evangelists. Six is five story is grace. And six is when God created the man on the sixth day. 
26 is a, a figure of man. God waited for the sixth day. Six day. Six day. Six day. The figure of man. Six day. Six day. When he created man on the sixth day. Beloved, there are other things that come to your life. And you may see the God that is not here. But God is waiting for his time to intervene. On the fifth day, he said to you, On the fourth, he was waiting. On the third, he was waiting. On the second, he was waiting. On the first, he was waiting. So when we got to the sixth day, Jesus decided. The Bible tells us that Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and he took them to the mountain. To the mountain. The Bible tells us in John, I lift my eyes towards the mountain. Where my help will come. My help will come from the Lord. He created the heaven and the earth. They went up to the mountain. Mountain is the place of solution. A mountain is the place of provision. A mountain is the place of prayer. Jesus took Peter and James and John. They went up to the mountain. They went to pray. We know that there are other things we need to go to the mountain. Do not remain below. Hallelujah. Amen. There are other things that come to my life. And you cannot treat it in a proper level. You must go properly. Because when you are rich, you will know how to look at that problem in your life. You will know how to resolve the problem. Hallelujah. Amen. You will know how to resolve it. Because when you are up here, you will know how to locate the person who is alone who will look but will not see all animals. They will not see all things. And those that are up there will see. And that is where God and I will see. God and I will see. And God, God took his disciples. He took his disciples. He took Peter, James, and John. They went up to the mountain. And the Bible tells us when they prayed, when they prayed up in the mountain, the Bible tells us that he was transfigured. Jesus was transfigured. Son visage est resplendit comme le soleil. The Bible tells us he's ah, the sun. Jésus a commencé à Jesus was transfigured. So, if I want to tell us something So, sometimes we say we saw Jesus on the cross. Jesus on the cross. The one who allowed to be himself on the He allowed others to be he allows people to love him. He loves that Jesus. He is not in the way that we are feeling. When he goes up to the mountain, he went to show his disciples to, to know who he really is. Because when he said the Son of Man has arrived, they were asking questions. Who is the Son of Man? Who is the Son of Man? But you said you are a child of God. Who is the Son of Man? I want to tell us the Son of Man is the Son of God. The Son of Man. Jesus went through all the suffering as a child of man. As a child of man. To endure the suffering. To know you and I. To know how you cry. To know your pain. To know all of you. That you all your troubles. To take that. And take it to the farmer. The farmer has never become man. The son became man. To know your pain. God as so sovereign, but as God 
not really not but the not the Because he has not the But the son, Jesus the son, he went through that. He was beaten. Because during that time, all the suffering. So he knows how to be Look at how Matthew is suffering. I know that pain. When uh, God came down in Exodus, he said, I know that suffering. I know that suffering. I know that pain. Jesus is able to speak before the Father. I know that pain. Forgive them. Forgive them. Because they do not know what they are doing. Forgive them. And when he comes a second time, he went came from God and came here on earth to speak to us about God, to tell us that we know God. He said, I am the son of God. You are my brother, my sister. From today, God is your father. A father like this. Father like this. Father says this. You must allow the Holy Spirit to be in you. Because if he leaves you, he will do all so the things. Jesus said so. He said, when the Holy Spirit will come, he is the conscience. And he will take all that he will be. And he will communicate to you. He will lead you to the truth. Because he is the Spirit of truth. So we saw that when Jesus came to the son of God, he came to, he came to tell us about the Father because we did not know the Father. We didn't know the Father. But Jesus came to tell us. And when he went out, as son of man, and he went to tell God, yours and mine suffering. The Bible tells us. That Jesus went to the mountain, and when he went to the mountain, he was transfigured, and he began showing his glory. His face shone like sun. Sometimes we read, and we just kind of stand in the passage. The Bible tells us his face shone like sun. We know that the dead are dead. So how can we see Moses? 
Christ. 
They are Christians. That's why we are called Christians. The Bible tells us. You know how God anointed the Holy Spirit and the power. Jesus of Nazareth. He went from place to place. During years. He healed all those that were under the, the, the hand of the enemy. Because God was with him. Jesus, God went from place to place. There are people that are crying. They, they need one person to pray. And just say that Jesus loves you. Jesus done his part. He said, Those that are mine will do what I love. Like Ask the church, what is your decision? What is your decision? After church, I will not swear. I will not start on anyone. I will not do this and that. Because it is bad. Yes. After, what do you do? The one who is next to you. Jesus gave a, a man a package. And he has given man people. There are others. There are others that can be preached on and preached on. But on the day that you will preach on, it is as if he had never heard the word. And he will say that I've been preached at before, but what you have said. And that person would have been your case. You are the only one that can preach them. So if you close your mouth, and that person dies, God will ask you. Because the Bible tells us, in Mark, I think, when Jesus came down, he asked his disciples and all that were there, what were you discussing? The Bible tells us there was a father. He stood and says, I brought my son to your disciples. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you think if you are not there, they will do good things in your name. People of the world, world say, pretend to die and you will see what will happen behind your back. Amen. 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 In the absence of Jesus, he invested in them. He gave them all. He gave them power. He gave them, he gave them intelligence. But when he went to the mountain, they began doing other things. Non-believers will tell. The man stood up and said, I brought my son to your disciples. Jesus said, 
Rust and Kedu. Faithless and twisted. Rust and Kedu. The reason they couldn't is that they were twisted. They sat for three and a half years. But they did not believe in Jesus. A twisted person is who? I say the one who doubts. The one who does not know me will doubt. They are allowed to doubt. They do not know me. And when they ask him about me, and they say something, they will say, I don't believe it, but they don't know me. But a twisted person is someone who knows you. Someone who is with you. And when they meet others, they do not want to take your place. They do not want to believe I'll give us an example to finish off. Apostle Tom Thomas. Apostle Thomas. Apostle Thomas. Was an apostle. He cast out the demons. He prayed for the sick. And when Jesus died, Jesus resurrected. He came to other disciples. Tom was, Thomas was not there. Thomas was not there. Hallelujah. Amen. Thomas was not there. And, and other people said, Thomas, they said, Thomas, in your absence, God came. We saw God. And Thomas said, What? Lord Jesus. Who was there when he was buried? He died. He said, yes, it's true, but he was resurrected and came here. And, and he said, I will not believe you until I take my finger and place it in his wound. And if I take my finger and place it in his the side, then I will believe you. But you can say whatever you like, and I will not believe you. Toma. 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 So the following day, Jesus arrived. He greeted them and he said, Make peace with you. And he turned to Thomas. And he said, Come and place your finger in my room. And come and place your finger on my side. And Thomas said, Oh, my Lord. And my God. And he said, Because you have seen me, It was God who created Lucifer. 
avait dit à Lucifer. He calls him Lucifer. Comment d'ailleurs il a dit? What does his name mean? Il a dit as le brillant. It's a means for how we are going to use on that we are taking care of the Lucifer. Because all that God had placed in Lucifer. So you know the people who are there who are not If you do not like that person, you cannot give him those things. Now the people who are there are just pure precious. In his body was uh, precious gems. I'm talking about topaz. He had to topaz. 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 He had gold. He had crystal. He had emerald. He had diamonds on his body. So how can he say God did not like Lucifer? He liked Lucifer. But when he rebelled, when he became Satan and was sent down or thrown out, God did not follow him. He did not follow him. But when you fall, God comes down. God has come for you. Do you know why God um, follows you? I said this once. I said this once before. <laughs> We cannot leave this image. He created you and us. He is not his movie. When you are crying, he is hurting because he knows that when you are able to see, he knows your body. That is why he has come to you. There is nothing that passes by. Is that it? 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 Oh, I, I didn't understand. When I spoke to some people after the conference, a lot of people said, Pastor, I'm so tired. It's as if they bump into me. Everyone that I asked is, I'm tired, I'm tired. Others were, oh, had fevers. Beloved. Beloved. God is faithful. I want to say one thing. I know who I am. If God did not call me, I could not stand before you. God said to Apostle Paul, He sent his angels to Apostle Paul. He said, Tell him, All that are with him in the boat, I have given them to him. None of them shall die. I know who I am. I know who I am. I have a covenant with the Lord. As I have given my life. You will never hear that I've gone after this woman or I've touched this child. Oh, that I'm stealing from the uh, church funds. Or to, to walk with the arrogance, you will never hear that. And God do what I will say. In ATM, in this ministry, no one shall die. We will die in our time. When you have finished your mission, God will tell you, come and rest. He will say, come and rest. Just as he said to our brother, I have claimed that word. In the boat, no one dies. Yes, the, the, the boat is broke, but no one dies. You know, we must know the God that we serve. They said that his face shone like the sun. His clothes shone like um, light. So when that God is speaking to you, you are and I was thinking this morning, God, how did you be? You have no beginning and no end. So what was? So what was before you to, to allow you to become God? Whatever was before is God. He was God. He is God. And he will remain God. He is God. There is nothing hidden before him. We will rise and we will pray.
Beloved, it begins to pray. If there is a problem that is serving you, tell him you are going down from him. We saw this quote in the book of Mark. So when this, this sickness began, the father said, sit back. The, the, the child suffers a sickness. He is fooling in fire. He is fooling in water. But I said that God healed him. God healed him. So today he has come for you. Raise your hands. Tell him do not come for me. You have come for me. Do for me. Start praying. Wherever you have been, show the Lord. Say, Lord, I am here. I am here for you.